great story. Um, I've lost Charlie. I've, I've, uh, you're gone, aren't you? Who have you got? Dexter. Dexter is uh, a... Um, Dexter, do you want to look this way? Do you want no, to look at, uh, Dexter's, up. He's Dexter's not, after. Oh, there you go. Yeah, back in the room. Yeah. Back in the room. Uh, De Dexter is with Derbyshire Fire Service. He's a rescue dog. And, uh, well, he's glorious, isn't he? Just beautiful. Just Lovely lovely temperament. Dave, you get an introduction as well. Uh, Thank you. Uh, sort of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dave Gross is with us this morning. Lovely to see you both here this morning. Go and tell us, first of all, tell us a bit about Dexter. So Dexter's a, um, what's called a blue roam. He's a, a working cocker spaniel. And he's been in the fire service now for seven years. Uh, we've had him since he was a puppy. And he actually qualified as a fire investigation dog in July 2015. Okay. So he's been working for seven years now. Right. What does he do? So we... What did he do? Because he's retired. <laughs> he's now. retiring in two weeks, yeah. So basically, he, my job is to find out how fire started. His job is to tell me if anybody's used anything to start the fire, such as a, an ignitable liquid, so um, petrol, diesel, white spirit, anything like that. So yeah. we can prove the arson, basically. Wait, what you may not be able to see... Oh, yes, you can. You can see De Dexter's little shoes, which are very, very cute. You see the little boots, yeah? There we go. Um, why? And he wears these, obviously, because you're going in a building after the fire has occurred. Yeah, right? so they're not, the, contrary to popular belief, they're not there to stop his feet from getting burnt because obviously he'd still burn his nose if it was still warm. So um, they're there to stop him getting broken glass, bits and nails, plastic, anything like that. Anything that's going to cut his paw, because if he cuts his pads, he can't work. So. But uh, well, obviously when he's not working, he doesn't, he doesn't wear them. No, he doesn't wear them at home, no. How long do dogs like Dexter typically work? In, in, in the industry. It, anyway, it he's, depends he's on seven, the dog. Isn't he? Yeah, he's, mm. he's eight next week. It depends on the dog. The smaller the dog, the longer they work. So, so the bigger dogs, the Labradors, um, things like that, um, Malinois, they'll tend to retire about eight or nine. Dexter's retiring a little bit earlier, eight, but that's because I'm retiring. So obviously he's coming with me. How do you feel about it? Retiring? Um, a bit emotional, if I'm honest. I mean, it's 30 years in the fire service for me. Um, Dexter's the third dog that we've had. So I've actually done this role for 20 years now. Um, so it's, it'll be a change. You do seem emotional about it. it. It's, it's a big step. It's after, it's a big after step. so much of your, your life spent, spent in, this, in a job you love, obviously. Uh, somebody once said to me, if, if you're doing what you enjoy doing, then it's not a job. And, and for the last 25, 30 years, it hasn't been a job. It's just been a, um, a pleasure. You know, I still wake up in the morning thinking, I can't believe they pay me to do this. You know, it's... I tell you what, it's, it's slightly comical. When, uh, if if you, you've already seen, Dave, but sometimes we do have food around here. It happens. We're on air for four hours and sometimes there's food here. Yeah. And slightly mistakenly, I said, we'll just hide the food. And when Dex is coming, we'll just pop it behind. And of course, as soon as he comes in, all his scent, he's kicking, he's he knows dog. where everything, <laughs> I know. He's searching, rescuing yeah. a croissant right now, which could be, might be, it's not good for dogs. might be lurking behind the sofa. Um, how do you know, how, how do dogs like um, Dexter get chosen? How do you know which ones can do this work? Normally we would take an adult dog and we would assess that dog. So South Yorkshire Police actually train us, so that the police would train us, would assess that dog that it's capable of being trained. Um, this particular dog, um, we had him as a puppy and it's a little bit like taking a two-year-old and saying when you're 21 you're going to be a fighter pilot you're in the lap of the gods, you just don't know. So what, what did Dexter have that made, um, made it him work and made him suitable for the job? Pedigree, so all of his ancestors are working either as working gun dogs or police um, drug search dogs. Um, so we, we took a bit of a gamble. Um, at eight months old, we thought we might have picked a, a wrong one because he, he, he wasn't that bothered. But then at 11 months, it was like a light switch just came on and he suddenly realised that's what he had to do. Apart from being very, very hungry all the time, obviously, what's he like just out of work, off duty? Um, he's actually quite chilled at home. I mean, this is, this is good for Dexter. And when we first came in this morning, he was bouncing around all over the place. I did that. hear. So um, we had to sort of calm him down a little bit. But um, the, the problem I have is every, every property or every house he goes to, other than ours, he thinks he's got to search it because that's his job. And what does he, so tell, tell me what he does when he goes, so say he goes to a, a, a new friend's house and you take him along and they're like, yeah, yeah, bring the dog, we'd love to. <laughs> After so five minutes, do? they tell me to put him back in the car. Um, he'll be on the settee, he'll be on the tables, under the chairs. He's, part of his job, part of our role is to search suspects at home. So once a, a suspect's been arrested for, a, for an arson offence, police will ask us to go and search his house looking for um, traces of accelerants. So he will naturally search somebody's house. 
Well, he's worked out which camera's which, hasn't he? He's, he's looking right. It's camera six. He just, he's doing it straight away. Look at that, camera six. He, he, um, just tell me. So, Dave, you, you'll be putting your feet up and you'll be relaxing because you're retiring. Now, Dexter, all... I mean, he's trained to work, isn't he? To, to all his senses. You're going to have to keep him busy, aren't you? That's, that's going to be quite a chore. It's one of my big worries. Um, you'll never wear him out walking him. Yeah. You've got to use his brain to wear so him out. So you're going to set up challenges, do... Oh. We're going to have to, I think. We're going to have to find something. Um, people have mentioned things like fly ball because he likes tennis balls, agility, yeah. and it, just something to keep him going. I why think. Dexter? Why, why the name Dexter? He came named. Oh, um, oh. It, it was one of, the, name. one of the big bugbears of, um, of our fire service PR department because they wanted to run a competition for children to name the dog, and obviously when he arrived he'd already got his name, so he I double-sixed him a little bit. But... Dexter! Oh, you know your name! So smart. Well, of course he knows his name. Well, sometimes I wonder He's if you know He's a highly trained... <laughs> well, that, amongst the revelations this morning, that surely... Oh, be quiet. <laughs> Just admire Dexter. Admire Dexter and lovely day. David, listen, uh, have a wonderful retirement. Thank you. You know, you've deserved yeah. it and have a great time together. He's Send us a picture, work. maybe. When you're yeah. chilling, sitting in your, in your deck chair in the back garden, send us a picture. We'll try. Bye-bye. They're lovely dogs. So lovely. And you're lovely, Dave, as well. Thank you. But you, you obviously are always going to be upstage by Dexter. He can come out. It's fine. It's fine. He can come out. I'll let them oh, get on. Still looking. Um,